Hello, welcome to the queue. We got a recap on turn two of the BBR 1940 game. Uh, I forgot to do turn one, but if you can imagine Japan attacking Japan or China, and then China attacking Japan, that was all that happened in the Pacific. And then in the uh, Atlantic, uh, you know, Germans sank British ships, and then the uh, British returned the favor, I believe, on a... I don't think they did. I don't think they sank any German ships. Uh, so anyway, Germany did attack Russia, brought them into the war in turn one, and they took Poland and fortified it. The Russians basically just shifted their forces, um, Italy and Britain fighting in Africa back and forth, and that was pretty much it. It was, you know, not, nothing out of the ordinary other than uh, Germany's declaration of war on uh, turn one for Russia. So that was kind of interesting. You know, a lot of times people just sit there for a couple turns and they build and build and then they, then it, uh, the war begins. But here's our uh, look at the uh, IPCs at the end of turn two. So we'll go ahead and move that to three. Uh, no one's got their tech, but this is the turn now where we're rolling dice. Uh, and if you get a three, you pay three dollars. If you get roll a six, you know, it's cost you six IPCs, but you get your tech at that point. So you either want a to roll a one or a six. And Japan skipped the first turn on uh, the um, research, so they're a turn behind. So they'll just pay their four bucks to catch up to everybody else. Uh, Paris was added on turn one. On turn two, uh, the Mediterranean, the Italians took the Mediterranean point, uh, capturing all the islands in the Med. The Germans took the third rank, but then the Russians took it back. So at the end of round three, uh, the Axis is sitting at seven victory points. And before I go over there, Looking at the Global War game that raged on all weekend. Uh, Global War 36, it is not good for the Axis. So they're getting punished there. Italy's already gone. And Japan is being squished by Russia and the U.S. Navy. So not looking good for the Axis. So the... I haven't talked to them. They're, they're taking a break now and doing some other stuff. So I don't know where they stand on the winner between Russia and the Allies. But i got to believe with Russia having that many territories that it did not own in the beginning, Russia's got to be winning this game and, and will win it. So that would be the second game in a row that uh, the common turn has won. So, back to our other game here. Finally got enough US pieces uh, done to switch them out. So, I don't know how close we can get. You can take a look at there's gonna be the green. Uh, then I've got the naval planes painted blue for the uh, US. And those units, um, you can see different uh, kinds of units that's the way it'd be interesting there's two different destroyers so that's how that lines up uh turn two battles uh in the middle of china both fighting over um Quichau and shazan shazan <laughs> uh japan japan took them then china took them back so and then they fortified back at the corner and uh, they also declared war on Russia for no other reason than they can convoy, or not really convoy, but stop the Lend-Lease over there. Um, which, you know, on this turn, Russia rolled and got $7 off the Lend-Lease. So that was huge for Russia. Pacific Fleet stacked up here. They built a naval base. They kept all their units on the transport. And so not to have a repeat of last game, we snuck a destroyer in there and then Anzac declared war on them and they were trapped. Iran falls to Britain. Next will be Iraq, no doubt. 
The battle in the African Horn is back and forth. Uh, however, the Italians down to two units. Uh, I've got to believe this will be their last turn there uh, on turn three. More ships in the med. Uh, you can see the flames from all the British ships that were sunk by the German Air Force last turn. Um, but the good news is the, the uh, British ships took down some German planes, so it was kind of costly for them. And then uh, the other thing too, their planes are now, you know, all over the, the board as opposed to being concentrated. The Italy turn, uh, Detroit said that the, you know, cause in BBR the bombers get to roll one dice or one round and then they have to retreat from the battle. So, you know, not, most of the games aren't that way. So he just said that was an auto kill when it actually, you know, we had to roll for it. And he did roll and he rolled a four, which, you know, you probably should. So that is gone and then it did land up there. So we got a uh, transport kill there that was rolled. And uh, there's the US pieces on the Allied side. There's a uh, B-17 up on the stand. All right, so big battle in uh, Sea Zone 109. First, the Germans came in and sank the British fleet, and then the British planes came in and finished off the German fleet, and then uh, two British planes were shot down, so it was kind of a, almost an even trade there. Up there in the north, Canada attacked the sub, failed, sub came down, destroyed the Canadian transport so this turn Canada does nothing because they lost both their transports and their units are locked uh, until the US is in the war so they'll just be sitting on their money what other battles took place here I've already s talked about that oh big battle right there in Baltic um, turn two Germany went into Baltic states with a big stack there was a big battle and Russia came out on top, uh, mainly because of the airplanes, I'm going to say. Uh, they, they provided the punch to put them over the edge, despite extremely poor rolling on the first round. I think on the first round, Russia had, uh, I forget if it was 22 units or something. Um, but they rolled and only got three hits. And it was a disaster. The Germans returned fire, got eight hits. But then it evened out in rounds two, three, four, and it might even have gone five rounds. I don't, I don't remember, but it was, it was a long battle, and it is on to turn three now. Germany will obviously come in and counterattack that, I believe, um, and then we'll see if the Russians have the units to counterattack back. So there's your recap of round two and really won because not a lot happened out of the ordinary other than Russia attacking, or not Russia attacking, Germany attacking Russia and bringing them into the war in turn one. And we suspect that Japan might be up to something sneaky on turn three.